if we do not know Tinubu's past schoolmates, age and health condition, we should not vote him. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Since he became aware of the realities turning him in the face, Tinubu has not been himself. The only person holding the demonic broom is him. Numerous all progressive Congress members defect from the party while fans is born a piece of broom as a sign of opposition. Others merely desire the money he stole. They are aware that Baba Tinubu is weak and will not win the support of Nigerians. The obvious rejection on a national level, Nigerians have decided to move forward and get rid of veteran thieves. Some other politicians agitated by P2B's Labour Party's growth and the remarkable support it has received in Nigeria, particularly from young people. And some have even started to urinate in their pants. They are particularly concerned about the no shishi support, but they are unsure of how to stop the massive support. While some are starting to support the Labour Party, others think that the only viable choice is to use any means necessary to maintain the unstable status quo. They had no idea there would be a tsunami, an unstoppable storm. For days, weeks and months, it gained strength and draws in millions of supporters. Recall the first criticism that the Labour Party lacked organization, leading to social media trolls and how it has since grown into a powerful force that drafts the great Jagaban and has him fighting to clear his name. Anyone who denies the fact that the rules of the game have changed is obviously in denial. In addition to being hungry and irate, Nigerians no longer want politicians like Tinubu and Atiko. The rage is obvious, and 2023 election appears to favor voting personalities, tribes, parties, and religion. Tribalism has caused conflict and murder. Religion has failed us and brought death, and the all progressive Congress and Buhari are the clear leaders of the party. The campaign strategy is shifting as a result. Some candidates who were stuck in the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party and who realized that opposing the beast pointless to have started to acclimate, accept and align with obedient beliefs. Like, I belong to either the All Progressive Congress or the People's Democratic Party. I am seeking the Senate. I fully back Obi. The current covert campaign looks like this. We want to take our country even though we are aware that oppressors do not give up their positions of authority lightly and do not care about Nigerians. The time has come. There is no stopping the tsunami. Hmm. This is one beautiful piece. But this person will tell we write this piece. You know, give us a name. I am telling you, you know, give us a name, but this is very beautiful. Sincerely, um, what is this person talking not true? Because if you ask me, why would somebody, just like um, I read an article a few hours ago, where Renu came out and was talking about how, you know, Obi is going from country to country, he's not relevant, you know, he's not doing the right thing. How Atiku and Tenebu are going from state to state in Nigeria, conversing for vote, and Obi is actually going from foreign country to foreign country, you know, um, talking to people, conversing for vote for people, or soliciting support from people. Who do not vote. That's what I need count is actually votes. You know, he, he's actually right there. But what I'm I I waiting they fear waiting they make me they talk about Reno be like, okay, you have your candidates. You're supposed to be even be clapping and dancing that Peter B is not conversing according to you for people who will vote for him. He's outside campaigning for people who will not vote according to you. Then you're supposed to be popping champagne and celebrating. But Reno is neck deep into P2B's matter. Even say, even when it is clear, say, okay, this will be, you don't want to support him. I also do not want to let him go. Okay. Um, Tudumbo has many things against him apart from the above. The biggest factor against him is the factor of the All Progressive Congress. Tudumbo forced APC over Nigeria and for seven to eight years, he could not help the government he made the wife to give birth to. The All Progressive Congress failed in all areas of Nigeria. No sensible Nigerian should vote for the All Progressive Congress. Only the stupid fools we do are much more. It is not a stun, but the turn of a sound is that is why P2B is the most qualified. Atiku has done taste years as vice president. She go and rest and since the time of Abiola Haba, shameless people forever. Now, I am of the opinion that look if you do not know Tenembo's past school, age, mental health condition, we should not vote for him. Why, yes, somebody who is coming out to rule over a people. Just like if you go to 
if you go for an interview they're going to ask you some certain questions you know if you have a health condition you know all those things they ask you all of those questions it is necessary but it's not it is not how am i going to put it it's not what you're going to major on we're not going to majorly be talking about it why because um his classmates with him knowing his classmate is not you know what is going to make him perform well if he eventually wins him, you know, telling us his health condition is not what is going to make us perform well. Him telling us his real age is not going to make us perform well, as in make him, him perform well. I mean, we are supposed to be looking at this man called Jagaban, Atiku, and uh, Peter B. and Rabi Kwankwaso based on their competency. What do they stand for? What are they bringing to the table? How has their past um, life in office or time in office been like? All right. Let us see why you two present his credentials for the sake of clarity and uprightness to settle this whole in Brooklyn. Well, the thing is, people who are interested in him, you know, clearing his name, they should go ahead. But the thing is, at the end of the day, uh, th those things are really, really, they're not as important as people take it to be. The writer of this piece is a ganja smoker. How do you mean? And what do you even mean like pencil down evil about Sonobu? Whether I like it or not, Sudan is answer to the Nigerian problem. He's healthy and agile. Are you really serious? Very reserved and brilliant, and he's capable to lead well. To lead and lead well. He will write all the wrongs of Buhari and deliver good governance. Really? Hmm. All right. The fate of a Nigerian masses has been for a long time on the whims of the politicians. The sudden reawakening of the Nigerian youth is a, is a decisive step to determine their faith. The 2023 election is going to be a testing ground between the will of the minority elite and that of the majority poor suffering masses. Well, the destructive en entrance of this movement into Nigerian political space without pecuniary inducements is upsetting the political class, the two major political parties, its large financial chest and wide political structures. And I tell you, the fact that these people, they did not induce anybody. Nobody gathered anybody anywhere and say, oh, um, you people should take this uh, for five naira or three, three naira or for five thousand. I should support this particular person. And the fact that these people, people who are even supporting this man, are willing to use their own resources to fund whatever they're doing. is is sweeping this, our previous political class off their feet. And they cannot just understand how it happened. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.